Uh, we are going to hear from the Fed, of course, on, on Wednesday. And um, I'm curious what you think we are going to hear, not just the number, which I think is sort of everybody's consensus is 75 basis points, but what we're actually going to hear from Jay Powell. And then, of course, we'll hear the jobs number on Friday. Good morning. Um, he's in a bit of a bind because on the one hand, I think he's inclined to uh, validate the market expectation that we are having a slowdown in the rate hikes. And he may combine that with um, a higher terminal rate, as some have suggested. On the other hand, if he does that and financial conditions continue to loosen, then that causes him problems on the inflation front. So it's a really tough balance to strike. And then there's the financial stability issue on top of that. Um, so it's going to be a fascinating press conference. And it comes after the jolts number, but before the labor report. So it is a particularly interesting one, this one. So you saw the Goldman Sachs report. What do you, what do you think is, is, is really in the cards at this point? So they are looking at inflation. They're looking at how persistent inflation ha has become. And they are saying, therefore, the Fed is going to have to go even higher. Um, but the rate at which it gets there slows down. So it's the old thing between how high, how fast, how long, the HFL. And what we do know is it's the F that's most problematic for the markets. It's the fast bit. So to the extent that the Fed can get away with slowing, I think this market can try to navigate the higher for longer. Um, so look at the pace. The pace is really important. If the pace stays where it is now, then we're going to have this liquidity rally, which has been incredibly rewarding, once again being challenged by fundamentals. Do you, do you, does this little rally make sense to you? I mean, some people think that this is the beginning of something. Some people think this is a, a grand head fake. I think Joe summarized it very well. Um, this is a market that repeatedly falls in love with liquidity and therefore rallies. But the sustainability of those rallies is only there if you get fundamentals improving. That is the lesson of the last two and a half years. Now, when you're in that rally, it's incredibly powerful. It's incredibly rewarding. But then you get the fundamentals. Right. So looking forward, and I am among the people who don't know, looking forward, the question is, when will fundamentals validate a liquidity rally? And that's the, that's the big question. So far, fundamentals haven't validated it. And that's why people are worried that we're going to test the lows yet again. Mohammed, you've been very worried about a hard landing for a long time. Is there any chance we actually are in for a soft landing? You saw uh, GDP numbers better than people had expected, which I think gave some comfort uh, to the folks at Treasury and probably at the Fed. Look, I'm not yet in the camp that the recession is 100 percent. I do think the probability is uncomfortably high. I wouldn't put it 100%. Um, so is there some possibility of a soft landing? Yes, but it is meager, Andrew, unfortunately. For, the, for a soft landing to have happened, the Fed should have started moving a year ago not, and not waited and then had to front load all these rate increases. And where are you on the other side of this? Let, let's say we actually get to the other side of this. I don't know what the other side of this even means. You know, Larry Summers has talked about this idea that actually, even in a best case scenario, you sit, you sort of live in this sort of stagflation world. Yeah, it's a matter of policy. There's nothing preordained about stagflation. We can do a lot on the supply side, and we should be doing a lot on the supply side. We should do more on regulating and supervising non-banks. And the Fed has to be ser sustainably serious on inflation. You know, we have the tools and we have the policies to avoid this long period of stagflation um, but the question is, will the political system allow these, these tools to be deployed in a continuous manner? And that's why next week is so important. Right.